So I've been in practice for 25 years and being in practice today is a lot different than being in practice five years ago. Being in practice today is a lot different than being in practice 20 years ago. 20 years ago, you were one of the wealthy doctors if you had a computer in your office or a cell phone, right? And now we wouldn't dream of not having those things. And I've come completely full circle in my journey as a chiropractor. So a couple of things that I want you to understand before I get into it. One is I am a pediatric and prenatal chiropractor. So the things that I say are relevant to that fact. Make them relevant to you in the way that you practice. I'm also a straight chiropractor, meaning I just use my hands. I look for subluxation and that's my focus when I'm serving a patient. And I'm not making anybody wrong. I'm just stating facts, right? Um, the other thing I want you to understand is my, my bottom line is that I need to be enjoying the process. If I'm not enjoying my experience in practice, I don't want to be doing it, especially now since my practice is the fun, easy part and running the company of staffless practice is me working 40 hours a week. So when I go there, it has to be easy. It has to be the easy part. I was just doing a recording with a note-taking software, um, a guy who runs a note-taking software company. And we were talking about how there are all these things that we have to do when we show up at the office. We have to serve great care. There's no doubt about that. We have to be good at what we do, right? We have to take notes. Um, we have to be paid for our time. All of the other stuff you can automate in a personalized way. And that's what I want to talk about today. I'm not giving you solution, solutions for how to bill insurance or how to take notes in your office or what insurance to use. I'm giving you solutions for all of the other stuff so that you can go to your office, show up 10 minutes before your last practice member, I'm sorry, your first practice member, be ready to serve, take your notes, charge the cards, whatever you have to do and go home. And then when you're home, this thing is leaving you alone. My goal is to show you how that all happens. So I was under the assumption for many years that part of having a practice that was successful meant having a team running my front desk. So there were times that I had six, seven women working in my practice. Um, we had cameras involved. There were... Um, contracts that were signed. I mean, it was a whole thing. And most of my career, most of my time and energy at my office was geared towards managing that team. It was completely distracted from me loving my practice. Little did I know at that time that as bad as it got, I had to connect with how bad it was in order to teach you guys how to stay away from how bad it was, right? And it wasn't bad in blame for anybody. Nobody was dropping the ball. It was just the wrong people in the wrong positions. And I had never been trained to be a boss. I spent years waiting tables and cleaning houses and singing and doing all of these things. Being a boss was never part of my training. I certainly didn't get that training in chiropractic school. So here I was with a practice that was bringing in $200,000, $300,000 a year, and I had a team of women who part of their household income was dependent on the success of my practice. I had no idea how to manage them. So um, I was miserable. I was smoking. I'm being totally honest with you guys. I was miserable. I was smoking. I was 40 pounds overweight. I was missing Saturday morning baseball games. My kids were little and it was just not working. My care was still good. I was good. At, I was a good technician. I was good at what I did because I had been doing it for a long time. And if you're good at anything, like if you spend time doing something over and over and over, you're going to get good at it, right? Unless it's totally not the thing that you should be doing. I knew that chiropractic was part of what I should be doing because I love it. So push came to shove, and this is spring of 2020. This is winter of 2020. I had one team member left. I had over the years, 33 team members in 20 years. I found them. I trained, I interviewed them. I decided to hire them. I trained them. 
I trusted them. I'd all of these things. And then 33 people ended up quitting. I had never fired one of them because I sucked at being a boss, right? I'm a good person. I'm a good chiropractor, not a good boss. These days I am because I had to learn how to get good at it. So here I was winter of 2020 and my, the last person had just quit and I, I, I hit a wall. It hurt because this was a personal one. This was someone who I really cared about personally. And when she quit, she quit. Like that was it. And um, I promised myself that day that I would never put myself in this situation again. You know how when an alcoholic hits a bottom, but it's really the bottom. This was really my bottom. This was me saying never again. And I would do this thing every time a a front desk person would quit, I would move the office furniture around so that I could see my people walking in when um, I was adjusting. So I had to move the whole front desk to a different part of the office. So I was like, I swear, this is the last time I'm moving this desk. And um, I got really good. It, It took me a few months. I got really good at figuring out How can I set my office up so that I don't have to hire again? I got really good with the phone. I figured out like, what are all of the things that people need during my office hours? They needed something with the phone. They needed to be able to schedule. They needed to be able to pay. They needed to be able to ask questions about their care without interrupting the people on the table. They needed to feel seen and heard and honored while I had one eye here and one eye here. If you're a parent and you've got more than one kid, you know how to multitask, right? Because you've got, you got two people plus the surrounding, the surrounding stuff going on. That was what I needed. I needed systems to be able to focus on Bob on the table, Sally, who was walking in with her in-laws about to ask me for a free adjustment, the three people waiting, and I have an open adjusting room where I have seven tables going. I had to get all of this cool. And what would happen is my practice took a dip. It got quiet. I got really good at learning how to do the systems. And then my practice picked up again, and I learned how to do it with a busy practice. So I figured something out for the phone, for the emails, for the texting, and something inside, thank goodness, was saying, Jody, write this stuff down. So I would write down what I was doing with how would I do the texting? What was the program I was using? I was copying and pasting because the, the program I was using at that time didn't have a template feature. Um, how did I do the thing with the phone? Um, I remember I have a, she actually, actually saw her yesterday. Her name is Deb. And um, she owns an insurance company, a state farm branch. And she was one of my practice members and she walked in while I was recording my, what's now known as the voicemail message funnel. And it's a whole thing. It's like a script. And as I said earlier, I was a singer. Like I was, I was an actress for a long time and I would memorize scripts, right? That was part of what I did. So I had the script for my voicemail message funnel memorized. And I would, I swear this is true. I would re-record it three times a day. I would have one version when I was in office hours, one version before my office hours, and one version after my office hours. So Deb walks in, I'm recording my voicemail message funnel, and she's like, Jody, you should record that and sell it. There's something there that you got. And I'm like, a little seed, a little seed was planted. Then overnight, boom, the world changed, pandemic hits, all of my friends in practice are like, Jody, what's that thing you do with your phone? My staff just quit and I don't know what to do. There's nobody here to answer the phones. Jody, what do you do if somebody's asking you about billing and there are people in the office? How do you keep it private? And I said to them, well, I actually have been taking notes on my process. I have it right here. And that was the birth of this book, Staffless. Staffless hits Amazon. It becomes a bestseller. And that was the beginning of all of this. And here we are just about five years later. And we have a school, an academy, we have a software program, we have four books, three of which are bestsellers. Um, And we've served literally thousands of practitioners all over the world, teaching them how to love their practice again. So what I wanna do is I wanna break down what I did with the phone, what I did with texting, and what I did with emailing. Those are the three main things. And I want you to remember, if you're just joining us, 
These are the things that happen before your people come in and after your people leave. The before part, it could be before they're a practice member. It could be um, if you don't, you know, I never learned marketing in school either. Maybe I learned how to like make a marketing plan and a dream board or a vision board, but I didn't know what a lead was or a lead magnet or a funnel for that matter. These things were right over my head. I had to learn all of that in order to streamline the pieces that needed to be streamlined, automate the things that needed to be automated. And it took me I'm telling you guys, it took me falling down, getting back up, falling down, getting back up and falling down, getting back up to know what parts need a, a human touch and what parts need automation to save and protect my time. Um, one more thing that I want to mention. Um, we're always talking, our foundation of what we do in staffless practice, by the way, I now have a 16 person team. We love each other. It's there are healthy relationships. I hired a coaching company for $30,000 a year to teach me how to be a good boss. So I got my education, right? And we're doing really well. Thank you very much. So um, everything we do is based on the protection of time, energy, money, protecting your time, energy, money, protecting my time, energy, money. So one of the things I'm going to tell you before I get into the meat is I'm not going to sell you anything today. This is not a sales call. If you want to hire us, I'll tell you at the end of this call how you can jump on with me and I'll tell you my pricing and all that stuff. I'm going to be totally transparent with you. I just want to give you these tools because they're so easy. So um, we spent quite a few years with the phone and the texting and the email and teaching the systems on like four or five different platforms. We used one texting program and then the whole texting, um, the whole texting industry changed overnight, like a year and a half ago. Now you need this very extensive registration process, process, which is called A2P. When it happened, we didn't see it coming. And we had all of these people who were using this texting program that we had trained them on and got them set up with and all the things. And it, it slipped out from under our feet. So we had to get really good at that piece, right? And what I want to do is I want to go into what do we do with the phone? What do we do with the texting? And what do we do with the email? I want you to also remember that my person is a 30 something mom with the time, energy and resources to give more and do more for her family. Who is your person? That's the first thing you got to figure out. Who's the person who you're solving a problem for? I want you to get so crystal clear on who that person is. We call it perfect practice member. We start there, that's ground zero, right? We start there because everything that you're about to build and everything that you're about to create is for that person. So that when they walk into your office or they enter your Zoom room, it's as if the, the stars aligned and the skies open up and the angels sing, like they know that they're home. They know that they're with the right person. And they also know if they're not. Again, protection of time, energy, money. So my 30 something Sally does not want to tech. They, she doesn't want to call my office for an appointment with her chiropractor. She has lists like this. I actually have an accountability buddy, Dr. Leela, if you're listening, um, this is for you, my sister. Uh, she's a functional medicine doctor and she's got like 20 clinics and she has to do lists everywhere, right? My person, my 30 something Sally, She's got to-do lists everywhere. I'm about here on her daily to-do list. Get to the chiropractor this week. You get it? I'm not the list. I'm just one little piece. So what would be easier for Sally, who wakes up at 5.30 to go jump on her Peloton for 20 minutes, bust a sweat open before she has to wake up the kids, feed them breakfast, get them on the bus, um, go to work, do the thing, pick them up from school, and do it all again the next day, right? What would make it really easy for her to check this box, get to the chiropractor this week? Would it be calling my office? I don't think so, right? For me, in my world, it's texting my office. It's, hey, Jode, can I come in at four on Thursday? How much time does it take for that to happen? Even better, it's her receiving a text on Sunday saying, hey, it's Dr. Jody. Let me know what works for you this week. Every one of my practice members gets that text every week. She texts back Thursday at four. 
it takes her two seconds to book her appointment at her chiropractor's office. That piece is off the list. And she comes every week because of how easy I make it. And because when she walks in my office, she says to herself, it's as if the skies are opening and the angels are singing. This is my home. This is my person. Because that's how I set it up. If you have a practice filled with um, retired golfers or grandmas who don't own a cell phone or are still using a phone that's attached to the wall and they there are plenty of practices that are filled with them. There's nothing wrong with that. You're not going to want to run a texting platform for your practice as its main communication system because they're not texting. A lot of them aren't. 50% of them aren't. You can have it as an option, but you do need somebody manning or womaning your phones. Does that make sense to you guys? This is where you need to know when the automation is a good thing and you need to know when it's not. Okay. Okay. So if somebody wants to have a, um, an appointment with me and they are already a current practice member and they call my office right now, they're going to receive what is now known as the voicemail message funnel. First of all, my current practice members won't call my office because they know not to. They know that I don't even have an office phone anymore. I literally canceled my office phone last week. So we're July 10th. I'm five years into my journey with staffless practice. Last week, I canceled my office phone. That saves me over $3,000 a year. And I'm going to tell you what the solution for it is. There's no cell phone. There's no phone. None. Zero. It's gone. So if my person calls, first of all, my active practice members won't call, but if a new person calls, they're going to hear something like this. This is Light Source Chiropractic serving gentle family care since 2000. Dr. Jody can't get to the phone. That's why you're receiving this message. If you're a new practice member looking to schedule your first visit with us, check out our website at lightsourcechiropractic.com. That's lightsourcechiropractic.com. If I give them my website address on this recording, you got to go to the website and make sure it's crystal clear what to do to get an appointment. If they go to lightsourcechiropractic.com, that's lightsourcechiropractic.com, and they see like things flying and, and like, it's like they have to scroll through all these videos and forms and all of the things, they are going to go to the next person on the list. I promise you that's true. Unless you're doing your marketing right on and most of your, your people are referrals, then they'll, they'll keep coming. Um, the next per type of person, so if you're a new practice member looking to schedule your first visit with us, go to our website. If you're a current practice member with an admin or scheduling need, texting us is best to get the help that you're looking for immediately. Text us at and then the number, you guys can go ahead. Well, I don't want you to text me yet. I'm going to show you what the texting looks like. But I'll say my number slowly at first because most of these people are calling when? When they're driving, right? 908, and I'll say the number. I'll say it slow, and then I'll say it really fast. Again, it's 908. So I'll say, you're a current practice member with an admin or scheduling need. This is the script, right? Um, texting, Texting us is best. Text us at... 908. Again, that's da -da 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 -da. my third category of callers is usually spammers because I don't take insurance in my practice. So I'm not going to have an insurance company calling my practice. And so for them, I'll say for all other callers, you're welcome to leave a voicemail here, but it's not going to be checked. Go ahead and send me a text. Um, thank you for being the best part of, of Light Source Chiropractic. And then uh, that is the voicemail message funnel. So the way that this goes down is this. For three days, to open up a note on your phone. And every time someone calls your office, you're going to note these three things. One, what time of day it is. Two, their first name and initial. You don't want to put their full name in to respect HIPAA. And three, two or three words to indicate what they're calling about. So I'm going to repeat that. One, the time of day. Two, their first name and last initial. Three, two or three words to say what they're calling about. What that's going to do is it's going to surface a, a few categories of callers. Most of us, if we're wellness practitioners, and if you're on this call, you are, you got your new people calling because they don't know your system yet. 
you you might have some stragglers calling who are current practice members because no matter what you put in front of them, they're not going to listen to your rules. And you might have spam callers. So those are usually our three categories. And then you want a solution for each one, but you want to make sure that the solution is a good one. If your solution is texting, do not be don't don't be texting from your cell phone without a compliant program. It's not allowed. It's not okay to do. You want to make sure that your texting platform has gone through the trouble of getting certification with compliance. It's really important. You want to make sure that your texting program is cost effective. It doesn't cost four or five hundred dollars a month. You want to make sure that your texting program is cloud-based so you can access it from any computer screen or a virtual assistant can compliantly. And the most important thing about a texting program is you want to make sure that it's, it's template ready. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. So that's the phone and the texting. Your texting is, by the way, admin. It's, by the way, Sally, you left your umbrella at the office. It's, by the way, Bob, did you want to come at 4 instead of 4.15? It's not, Sally, for your migraines, I want you to start taking magnesium at 300 milligrams a day. No, that's not what texting is for. We do not give health advice in a text because it could be misconstrued and misread and you never know who's reading it. It's an, um, a borderline anonymous, by the way, admin pieces. That's it. That's what we use texting for. Okay. I see way too many doctors when they knock on my door, they're texting from their cell phone and they're saying, it was great to see you and John for subluxation chiropractic. And I want you to start working on your migraine stretches and you can't do that in a text, you guys. It's not a good idea. And I've seen that go the wrong way. Um, okay. So that's texting. And I'm going to shift for my visual learners. Hang tight. I promise you it's coming. Texting email, email is the third piece. Email, you want an email platform that again is compliant. Google Workspace offers a really beautiful compliant um, solution. It's like $12 or $8 a month. I think it's $12 a month, but you also want it to be branded. You want to have a lovely signature. You want to look like you have your act together. It's kind of like if you're a chiropractor, you don't want to bite your nails. Like you're going to be touching people. Like my son waits tables and he had a cut on his hand. And I'm like, sweetie, you got to cover that up. You're serving people food, right? People look, they judge you whether or not you want them to be judging you. If you send an email with typos in it and it's not branded. It doesn't represent how good you are. You're dropping the ball where the ball shouldn't be dropped. The ball's going to drop in other areas and you're in charge of where those areas are most of the time. Don't let it be in an email. Okay. Make sure that your emails are lovely, that they're well-written. And we have so many tools these days, right? We have chat GPT, we have virtual assistants, we have so much. Um, and I'm going to show you an example of everything that I'm talking about. Emails are more beefy information. Texts are, by the way, emails are beefy information. Like, now that you're a member of my practice, here are the things I want you to remember. There's usually a video involved for emails in my practice. I give them a tour of my office. Um, I tell them what to expect on their first visit. And all of that is automated. In fact, I don't even do any of it. I have a virtual assistant do it for me. And I'll show you that in a minute. So that's texting, emailing, and the phone. Most of the time, the question that comes up now is how much does all this cost? Everything that I just talked about and um, social media posts, social media planning, templates for social media posts, campaigns for emails, campaigns that actually integrate texting, email, voicemail, social media, waiting for that to happen, and then going back into it, it includes that. Uh, landing pages where people can fill out a form and then a whole bunch of things happen depending on how you wanna set up. All of that is $4.95 a month and it's HIPAA compliant. And it will then replace your phone, your email, your texting solution, all of it. 
So let's go into taking a look, unless you guys have questions. Are there any questions so far? Is this helpful so far? Allie, you're who I see the most. Is so far, so good. Is it helpful? Okay, cool. If anybody's like Jody on board, just let me know and I'll start singing. I can sing to you. I've been known to do such a thing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we're going to show off a little bit. Okay. So we're going to get come back to this. This is our learning center, but we're going to come back to this. I want to go to, this is the practice suite. This is the all-in-one solution for everything that I was just talking about. And I'm going to show you, I actually just want to stop share for a second because I want to make sure that I'm not showing anybody's private information. Okay, we're good. I'm going to go back to sharing my screen. Oh, too many windows. Hold on. All right, so we have a purple practice suite. We've got a bunch of different colors. We've got, um, these. This is, this is the part for my visual people. Like if you need to see the visual, this is our blue practice suite. It's really beautiful. I'm really proud of how gorgeous this is. We have a green practice suite. And basically it's Outlook meets Trello meets Google Workspace meets Zing It meets um, Hootsuite, meets a uh, task management system. I don't know what that would be. Meets Constant Contact, uh, meets MailChimp, meets a scheduling program. It's all of that, okay? The rule of thumb with a practice suite is it can do anything at any time. The hardest part is needing to know what you want it to do. Okay. So you'll ask me all of the questions, even though I just said that you're going to be like, can it do this? Can it do this? The answer is yes, it can do that. And here's my, uh, here's my solid promise to you. If you figure out something that I can't do, that is your golden ticket because there are literally hundreds of thousands of people using this platform and they have figured out how to make it do the thing. So my job as the facilitator of the practice suite is to say, I need <laughs> Dr. Allie, to be able to do the thing with a thing with a practice suite, how do we make that happen? There's always a way to make it happen. That's the answer to that question. So conversations, I'm going to go into the staffless practice suite. Conversations is, um, it's WhatsApp, it's email, and it's texting. It's also Facebook messaging, Instagram messaging, and TikTok messaging. It's all of that. If I want to send an email to lovely Brian Adams, you see my lovely branded signature there? I want that for you. I want you to have a lovely branded signature in your lovely branded email. I also want it to be HIPAA compliant because chances are it's going to one of your patients, okay? If I wanna send lovely Brian an email, and Brian, if you're on this call, thank you for being my example, I'm probably gonna use a template. These are all of our templates, right? So we have what's called a template bundle that gives you every template that you could possibly need for before, during, and after a new patient appointment. So the before is when they're a lead and they find out about you. The during is now that you're a member of our practice or today's your first visit. The after is let's educate you about what we do and why it's the best thing since sliced bread. The commonality of the templates that we've written is you offer wellness care. You can be a PT, ND, OT, chiropractor, wellness coach. It doesn't matter. They're all relevant to you. Every one of our templates, when you're creating the templates, it has a, here's what you want to include. It has a chat GPT prompt. And it has an example of what it looks like when it comes together. If you do not know how to use ChatGPT, I'm giving you an entire course to know how to use it. So all of it has been thought through, okay? Because literally I'm thinking like, what would I have wanted? Let's make it, <laughs> okay? So that's texting. Let's, I'm sorry, that's email. Let's say I wanted to text Brian. Let's say I wanted to text Brian and everybody else who had what Brian has that he's looking for in my world has that in common, whether it's my active patients, my inactive patients, my pregnant patients, because I see a lot of pregnant people, my um, kids, 
I have all of my, my tags in my practice that are under the age of 12 are tagged kid. And then if I'm sending a text out to the practice on Sunday evening saying, Hey guys, here are my hours this week. I'm not going to send that to a two-year-old. I'm going to send that to the parent of the two-year-old. So I'm going to say something like dear Johnny's family, right? <laughs> Instead of, Hey Johnny, do you want to book on Tuesday? Because obviously Johnny's not going to answer my text. He's two. Okay, so I can send a text out to all of them at once and it looks like it's going to them. I can use a template for my text. I can put a payment request in my text using Stripe as the most native integration for the system. I can put emojis in my text. I can put a, you guys anything, anything, right? Calendars. The EHR program that you're using, if you have an EHR program, can be mirrored here. So I can say, I use Jane app because Jane rocks and the, my Jane schedule will be here. And I can show that to you in a minute. I just have to stop share. So you don't see my patient list. It mirrors my Jane app schedule so that if I have a virtual assistant, which I do looking at my texts, then um, they can very quickly look at my appointment list for this week and answer the text. And then they'll go back into Jane, you know, once they're done all the texting, they do what's called a check-in. And each check-in, the, the rule of thumb is about an hour of admin per 60 patient visits. So do the math, right? Like that's like um, maybe $60 a week for someone to run your suite for you. Um, and then we have contacts. Step boards are like your Trello automation. It's just so above and beyond cool. Um, it's where automation and the human touch come together in communicating with your people. You can process payments here. Outreach is gonna be all of your social media channels. It's posting, it's commenting. It's also email, campaigns, templates. It's all of it, right? Um, your websites. So I'm gonna to try to not overwhelm you, but I just wanna show you this. It's literally, every website you could possibly want for your practice. You can have 10 websites and they can all be dralliarocks.com forward slash book, dralliarocks.com forward slash new patient. And each one of your website URLs can go to a different website depending on what you want. Or you can have an all-in-one website. It's totally up, however you wanna do it. And then um, learn is the final thing. And I do want to show you guys that. So here it, again, I like the green suite. It, it feels good on my brain. Um, so our learning center, he, here's, here's the good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay. Here's the good, the bad, and beautiful. When I was learning, I learned this software program because I needed it for staffless practice because we started growing really fast. I didn't expect us, I expected maybe to coach a couple of people, but this took off like wildfire because it's really good. And I needed a way to connect with all of you guys without dropping the ball. And you saw, if you got the text and the email yesterday, you saw me drop the ball. Like that's the example of me falling down and getting back up. I was like, oh, look, that automation got screwed up. And it was literally an email about not screwing up your automation, right? So that's kind of me in a nutshell. I fall down and I get back up and I've coined myself the expert mistake maker and solution creator. So our learning center is where you learn how to do all of the things. It's where you learn in a Jody style kind of way, how to set all of this up, how to run all of this, how to train all of this for your team. You name it, it's in here. This is instead of going into a Zoom with a group of people from all over the world and waiting an hour to get help. And then if you need a live person, we are right here ready to answer your questions via Slack. Okay, so that's our learning center. Wait, I wanna go back to it because there's one more really cool thing. Our bundles and bonuses includes the following. Courses in Staffless Practice Academy on kicking ass in practice, quite frankly, right? Um, bundles and kits for your wellness suite that include templates for emails and texting and forms and you name it. I'm also giving you access to all of the practice forms that I've used over the years and the ones that we've collected from other clients. Um, creating an online course, we have a course about that. Creating a brand kit, uh, creating a social media solution, uh, the funnel builder course, 
practice recalls course, video sales letters course, and weekly wellness text thread. And this morning I started on um, the course for offering a promo week through your Facebook group. That's more for course creators and online practitioners than anybody. So all of that comes with your practice suite and we keep adding to it. There's no end in sight. <laughs> I wake up and I'm like, new idea, 3.30 in the morning, let's go. <laughs> so um, the other thing I wanted to show you is let's say that I'm in my practice suite and I recognize that um, I want to go to a suite with phone numbers in it. So this is one of our purple suites. And let's say I want to call myself. I don't know why I would do that, but I can. I just have to hit this little phone and the phone will ring. That's why I was able to replace my phone. It's no longer necessary for me to have a phone for my practice because I can make calls from my suite. I can record calls from my suite. I can plan calls from my suite. I can receive calls from my suite. I can receive voicemail from my suite. You get it, right? Like you get where this could go. Okay. Um, I think that that's everything that I wanted to show you today without totally overwhelming you. So if you want that, where we go from here is if you want to learn more, we have a done by you version of all of this, where I can say, here you go, have fun. See ya. Let us know if you need anything. We have a done with you version of this. It's a 12 week coaching program where we coach you along to help you discover the truth about what you need to put in your suite. How do I want to serve? Who do I want to serve? What time um, solutions do I need? All of that stuff. Uh, that's 12 weeks long. Um, and that's our core program. And then if you're like, wake me up when it's over, I want to have nothing to do with building the suite. And in fact, I want your team to run it for me. We have a done for you version too. That's our Apex program. You're going to spend somewhere between $495 and um, $8,600 on the programs that I just said. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and stop recording. If you need me, I'm going to, wherever you're watching this video, I'm going to have a link for you to book a call with my team. There is a little bit of a vetting process because you get my time when we know that you're serious about wanting to lean into what we're doing. If you're not serious about it, just keep watching our free stuff. It's yours for the taking. Um, get on my schedule when you're like, yep, I'm ready. This is something for me. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop recording.